Today, I'm going to teach you about the Curves tab in DaVinci Resolve and what makes it so powerful for colorists. All these nodes that you see before here are videos that I've made currently, so you can go back and watch those if you haven't yet, but today we're going to be focusing on the Curves tab. Already, you know this Curve tab, this is the Contrast Curve, but what we're going to focus on today are the Hue Curves, so actually I'm going to name this Hue. So this first one is the hue versus hue curve. Now what you can use this for, adjusting the colors and seeing which colors you want to make different. So let's say this right here looks too red for me. I can use the color picker to pick out that and adjust this to make it more yellow orange or even more pinkish red. Now right now, I think it looks fine. So I'm going to just adjust maybe the greens here. So that's basically the hue versus hue curve. Now we can move on to the hue versus saturation. Now this is a little more important because you can see here a lot of these oranges and reds, they're kind of more desaturated than the greens. The greens are the most desaturated. So we can go to these reds and we can bring them up as far as we want, we can bring up the yellows. And now we have more saturated oranges and yellows. And let's say maybe the greens look a little too saturated. We can bring those back down. And that's basically it for the hue versus saturation. The next tab we have hue versus luma. This is where each color can be adjusted and you can adjust each color's luminance. So let's say you want the greens to be brighter. You can make those brighter or you can make those darker. Same with the yellows. And here you can see down here, I've been using the reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magentas, or you can use the color picker to pick each individual color. But for now, we're gonna just leave all these. Now this next one is the Luma versus Sat curve. Now basically what this one does is you can add points onto the graph. You can desaturate the highlights desaturate the blacks or you can saturate the blacks and desaturate the highlights and you can make your own curves with this like let's say there's something in the darks that you want to be more saturated you can pick that and adjust the saturation and it only adjusts the saturation on that luminance level so usually when I'm using this tab I might go up 1.2 and I'll bring this down to like 0.6 and you can see these highlights get desaturated while the colors in the shadows are still saturated. Now the next one is sat versus sat. This is kind of like vibrance. So these are more of the saturated colors down here. So you can make the saturated colors more saturated or you can make the saturated colors less saturated. Same with these, the ones that are less saturated, more saturated or you can desaturate those ones further. And you can see you can make different types of looks with this where only the greens are saturated because those are the most saturated part of the image. And it looks pretty natural. Now I'll get rid of that and I'll move on to the sat versus loom. Now sat versus loom, I'm sure you can guess the more saturated something is, you can turn down the luminance or you can bring up the luminance to make those saturated things pop more. Same with the less saturated things, you can make the least saturated things darker, or you can make those things brighter. And you can even pick and drag up and down to create different looks. Now, so how can you use these to create a look? If you think these are like too bright back here and you wanna bring back some detail, you can actually lower these and it looks like it brings back some detail. And let's say the shadows here, you want to grab some more detail in there, you can bring that up because that's the most saturated part of the image. You can create a more dynamic image using these tabs. Now I'm going to adjust it to how I like. I suggest you play around and do the same. And if you want to bring your look to the next level, I suggest you watch this video on how to make windows.